Okay, hey, this is uh, Sean McKee here from SeanMcKeeClothiers.com, and in today's interview, I am uh, I've brought in one of the uh, top uh, fabric uh, salesmen in the country with a company called Dorme, which I'm sure you've heard me write about and talk about before. One of the best cloths in the world, and Luke has been in the uh, fabric business, uh, Luke Mays, for 20 years now, and he is uh, head of uh, sales for North America. So. Uh, Luke, I really appreciate you uh, coming on with me today to talk and teach us all a little bit about fabrics and uh, Dorme in particular. And um, you know, I'll just kind of give the floor to you, so to speak, and let you take it away. So um, Luke's in the in uh, New York. He lives in New York. So uh, take it away, Luke. Thanks so much, Sean. It's a pleasure to be here. So the wonderful thing about Dorme is it's a 170-year-old family-owned business um, with a Anglo-Franco sensibility. Um, Jules Dorme, who is Dominic Dorme's great-great-grandfather, was the very first man to import British milled fabric into France for the local tailors and local couturiers in Paris. Uh, therefore, the family name represents that English milling, the very best milling in the world, with a French sensibility for design and style. So the combination of those two things is very unique, and Dorme uh, remains the very last family-owned business that is completely dedicated to making luxury cloth. Great. Um, do you want to, uh, let's go in here and talk about um, this uh, Dorme Amadeus 365, this collection. You want to start with this collection right here, Luke? Absolutely. Okay. Following the great success of Dorme's Amadeus 10 and a half ounce cloth, we created Amadeus 365 in a lighter weight. It's only eight and a half ounces with a compact yarn in the weft, which allows us to weave the fabric even tighter. And again, because of that tightness of the weave, the weight is reduced. Amadeus 365 can be worn all 365 days of the year, hence its name. And uh, we found it very, very popular in North America, particularly in the southern states and in California, where eight and a half ounces is really a good weight right through the winter as well. In the northeast, we're still selling a lot of heavier cloths for the winter. Obviously, it gets a lot colder, but uh, again, for the warmer climes, eight and a half ounces is a perfect weight for a suit all year round. With Amadeus 365, um, when you look at the unique designs, we typically only make four 70-yard pieces of each of these designs. Um, that excludes, of course, the solid colors, the navies, the blues, the blacks. But in these unique uh, pinstripe designs, check designs, and tone-on-tone -tone designs, we only make four 70-yard pieces. So there will only be 70 gentlemen in the world wearing that particular design from Dorme. Wow. Again, making Dorme fabric the most exclusive luxury fabric in the world. That's great. Yeah, nothing we make is mass-produced, and we recognize there are some wonderful brand names of fabric out there um, with fantastic names in the market, and, and we so, certainly respect those names. Um, but Dorme is quite unique in so much as our fabric is exclusively made at our mill in England in limited quantities. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful collection. I've sold a lot of that fabric, and uh, very nice, lightweight year-round, as you said, uh, has a great hand to it and uh, great performance. Clients love it. And uh, you want to go and talk about the jacketing collection now? Sure thing. Leading on to the Amadeus 365 jacketing, the same concept made with a compact weft yarn, uh, which just to explain what a compact yarn is, it's a yarn that is finished and uh, spun and stretched just a little bit to compact all of those vibrant fibers into the yarn and make it even stronger and even finer. So you get an increase in strength, an increase in the finest of the fiber and the yarn, and therefore you can weave the fabric a lot tighter. Again, the big advantage with a British milled fabric is English setting, which is the density of the cloth, the way the loom is set up before weaving, um, is dramatically more dense than uh, Italian setting. Um, of course, the Italian setting is lovely for very, very soft fabrics, and a lot of people like that. The British setting tends to make the fabric a little denser and a little more solid, 
but the advantage to that is you get great dimensional stability over time, so the fabric holds its creases as well as have increased resistance through a longer period of time, and the fabric does not start to sack after many, many wears and many, many dry cleans. It maintains its dimensional stability and integrity for many, many years. Great. Just trying to get a tie up there to show some everybody the outfit that we can put together. Sure thing. Some of these you're putting up here, the Madras check, um, are very, very fashion forward. Yes. You'll probably see this in uh, the stores throughout the world in two years' time. This is, is that right? Fashion forward. Absolutely. The Madras check in particular, the micro checks and the micro uh, houndstooth, should I say, are very, very fashion forward designs, as well as some great classics in the collection for a gentleman who's not looking for something so contemporary. Great. Well, I'm trying to find a tie that works with that, but I had to find a, a solid, but uh, they get the point. So, yeah, that, those, that's a great-looking collection there, and there's a lot of great-looking sport coats uh, to choose from. And this particular Absolutely. glove comes – I'm yeah, sorry? Those, sorry, I was going to say, those people who have been fortunate to go to Premier Vision or Idea Bella or Pitiwamo will have seen some of these fabric developments. And the advantage that Dorme has is because we're a mill – we can put out these designs before they're available to the rest of the world, which will probably be in the spring of 2014, spring of 2015. Right? That's when oh, so you, most so of these designs see, will be seen in, in the more mass-produced mills once they've seen uh, how this has responded to the, the top designers through the world who have gravitated towards this. Wow. Yeah, these now, are beautiful fabrics. fantastic-looking jacket. Yeah, and... Uh, they come in the, the navy, the gray, and so there's there's some nice nice different colors there. Okay, great. And we... I was going to say also, um, Sean, what's nice about Dorme's design uh, aesthetic and the sensibility is if you look at this particular jacket, this can be worn with a pair of white trousers, a pair of gray trousers, can be dressed up very formally, but also looks fantastic with a pair of jeans. So the Dorme aesthetic now is for this young man who is between 30, 45, 50, and he travels throughout the world and has the ability to dress up his outfit and dress down in his outfit to suit his lifestyle. So he can get off a plane, he can go to a formal dinner and still have Dorme in his wardrobe every step of the way. Fantastic. Put a gray up there. And this is very much the trend, gentlemen having beautiful jackets that they can wear with a variety of looks, formal and informal. Yep, very nice. Okay, great. And so as everybody can see, there's uh, quite a few uh, fabrics to choose from in this collection, some tight checks and small window panes and solids. Very nice. Okay, anything else on this collection? Should we move on to the third? Yes, let's move on to Aquaplan. All right. What's unique about Aquaplan is the nanotechnology. Now, the nanotechnology makes the fabric water resistant, but still able to breathe, which is a very unique finish. The nanotechnology also adds crease resistance to the fabric as well. So what Aquaplan delivers is a very, very light suit, a very breathable suit, but a suit that will repel water if you're caught in a shower. It also works for those of us who uh, enjoy fine wine, and uh, if you spill some red wine on your lap while wearing an Aquaplan suit, you'll be delighted to know that the wine will roll off the suit and land on the floor. How about that? We Pretty always easy. say it's a bit of a joke not to make Aquaplan suits with cuffs, uh, because if you're caught in a rain shower, the water will collect in your cuffs. <laughs> right, so that's good. If you make uh, Aquaplan suits with a flat front, uh, no cuff pant, or alternatively, put a small little uh, uh, eyelet in the cuff so that uh, water can run through. There you go. That's great. Now, how is this a brand new collection for this season? Then it is. We've run Aquaplan as a quality before, but this is a brand new collection of designs. And as I mentioned before, with Amadeus three six five, with the exception of the solid blues, blacks, and grays, we only make uh, on average four. 70-yard pieces 
of each of these designs in Aquaplan. So wow. every gentleman who wears this is one of only 70 gentlemen in the world wearing that unique exclusive design by Dorme. That's, so that's, when we talk about exclusive design at Dorme, we're talking about real exclusive design, not uh, presupposed exclusive design. These are made at our mill in England in very limited quantities. Well, that's great. Yeah, beautiful fabric. Um, okay, great. Well, let's just take a peek at a few other swatches here. Um, anything else on this collection you want to mention? There's one particular swatch if you scroll down on the collection and if you keep going down, yes, uh, the Navy Basket, DO2615447. This particular cloth is absolutely fantastic because it makes a beautiful suit but also makes a wonderful sport jacket. Anyone who travels to places like Miami, New Orleans, anywhere in the south where you do get those frequent showers in the late afternoon, this is your must-have take jacket. It's very light, breathes beautifully, and has that water resistant. So this will become your favorite jacket when you travel to those places. As I say, that uh, typically rain uh, most days at 4 or 5 o'clock. Or if you're traveling to the Far East, any places where there's a lot of uh, those fast rain showers, this is a must-have jacket for those trips. Wow, that's something else. Now, Luke, how do they, you know, in a nutshell, I mean, how do they uh, waterproof this fabric? The, the nanotechnology is very unique. It's not like a, um, a Scotch guard coating on the fabric, which would render the fabric unbreathable. It's a treatment that's put onto the fabric after the finish uh, is put on, but it only penetrates to the fibers. So it doesn't actually cover the whole fabric and create this barrier between air getting through the fabric. So it's a very unique process, as I said, that allows the fabric to breathe while being water resistant at the same time. Wow, that's something else. Well, that's uh, that's great. Like you said, for for gentlemen in a, in a rainy climate, or just uh, just to have the ability to wear a, a you know high end fabric like that is uh, very unique. And once again, the nanotechnology also gives the fabric a crease resistant property as well. Great. Um, well, let me ask you this, Luke. Um, you know. You know, you're in the fabric business, and you really know a lot about that. And one of the things, you know, that, that we, uh, you know, as a clothing salesman selling clothes to my clients, uh, custom-made clothing, a lot of gentlemen don't understand why you can go to some of the warehouse stores and the two-for-one sales, and suits are so inexpensive, and they, you know, they can't imagine why other suits can cost two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. And usually what I tell them is that most of the cost of the of an expensive suit is really in the the price of the fabric because it really is a difference. You get what you pay for. Absolutely. And can you just kind of give me um, kind of a lame person's explanation of, of the importance of fabric and how it really makes a difference and, you know, what it takes to raise sheep and the climate and, and everything that goes into creating, you know, a high-end fabric and why it's a good investment and why it will last so much longer and feel so much better. I mean, there's a difference. And a lot of guys just have never tried a higher-end fabric. They have nothing to compare it to. It just doesn't make any sense to them. It's not logical to a lot of guys. Yeah, ab absolutely. I think where I'll start is in the very confusing area of super count. Um, a lot of people have uh, had some information uh, on super counts and have determined that the quality of the fabric is completely uh, based on the super count. Now, just to explain, uh, super 100s uh, means that a fabric is made with fiber that is 18 microns in width. All the super count tells you is the diameter width of the fiber used in that fabric. It's a very important facet, but also is uh, also just as important is the length of the fiber, the strength of the fiber, the crimp of the fiber, and the color of the fiber. And it's, uh, I always use the analogy that uh, cloth is a lot like uh, assessing a diamond. A one-carat diamond could be worth $5,000. A one-carat diamond could be worth half a million dollars. The other four facets will determine the value of that diamond, the clarity, the cut, the color. Just the same is applied to fibers. A Super 150's fiber that comes from the head or the legs of the sheep might be discarded because it's short staple or it has bad crimp or terrible color 
and that will be made into carpets. But it's still Super 150s because it's still fine. But it's not suitable for fabric that's made by Dorme because we only select the longest filament fibers with the best crimp, with the best color, with the best shrink. So a Super 100s, for example, from Dorme often appears and feels like a Super 150s or Super 160s that you might see at J. Crew or Banana Republic. But it will perform infinitely better because it's long filament fiber that's very, very strong with great consistency and crimp and great color for the dye to really set into the fabric and give you those vibrant colors. And when I talk about fibers, we haven't even got to weaving the fabric yet. And Dorme works with farmers in New Zealand and Australia to grow fantastic wool fiber that is long, strong, high crimp, great color, as well as incredible micron count. And in fact, we recently made Infinity, which is made with an incredible 12.2 micron Super 230s fiber, which is the finest merino ever woven. Wow. That's great information, Luke, because a lot of, you know, fabric is it's just, you know, unless you understand it, it's hard to really understand why there's such a variance in prices. And, you know, with a lot of uh, fabrics coming out of China now and, and just all these different places and, and everyone's throwing these names on these fabrics, oh, this is a Super 150s, I can sell it to you for, you know, for $600. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. There's, there's, there's a difference. And I like the diamond analogy that you used because that really uh, – you know, that really, I think, tells the story. Um, Absolutely. And, and if I can explain without getting too confusing, if you can imagine a short staple fiber is a dollar, a mid staple fiber is two dollars, a long staple fiber costs five dollars. So it's significantly more expensive to buy these long staple fibers because there's less and less of them available on the clip. You then take these fibers and you weave the fabric with English setting, very, very tightly woven together. So you use so much more fiber and so much more yarn in making this suit. And in Ambassador, for example, Dorme Super 180s, there are 8,500 ends in the warp setting of the fabric. It's incredible. And if you look at a suit made in Ambassador, which uses four yards of fabric, you've got over 50 kilometers of fiber in that one suit. Wow. So the fiber itself is a massive part of the quality dimension. Then you get the weaving, and of course, Dorme make everything in England on the Amadeus 365, Amadeus 365 jacketing, 15.8 Ambassador, and it's finished with that unique, exclusive Dorme finishing in England from very, very fine waters in Huddersfield, which is in northern England. And that finish cannot be replicated anywhere else in the world. There's only one place in the world where that wonderful water that comes from a well under the mill can finish the fabric. And without that water, it's absolutely impossible to create a fabric with a British milled finish. Wow, how about that? That's 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 very unique. Okay, well that's great, Luke. This is some great information, and um, it's really going to go a long way towards educating uh, the readers. And um, you know, unless there's anything else you have to add, I'll say thank you very much for your time today. And uh, I'd like to have you back in the future to talk about you know collections that come out in the uh, seasons ahead. And uh, unless you have anything else to add, I'm, I think we're finished up for today. No, that's great. Thanks so much, Sean. I also uh, tweet once a day on fabric technology, the history of textiles at Dorme USA. So anyone interested in following that twit uh, would be more than welcome to follow us. Great. Well, I'll make sure I promote that as well, and uh, that'll go on the transcript. And, um, and uh, I think that's a great idea to help educate yourself. And um, I really appreciate your time today, Luke. Great. Thanks so much, Sean. Yep. Take care, Luke. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.